This is HelicopterJohn.com. I've got a friend of mine here, Rich. He's got a little question for me. We're going to try to help him out. John, i got a problem. And you might help me out here with it. we got a we got a piece of metal here. And you see this hole right there? I need to know what the center of that hole is. And I mean, I want to know it within four thousandths of an inch. So, uh, how much trouble is it to do that? Can, uh, is that a lot of trouble for you guys to do that? Well, with a Renishaw wireless probe, it's a snap. Uh, and it'll get a lot closer than four thousandths of an inch. Ooh! It'll read within tenths. I think it's guaranteed to read within like uh, two to three tenths, but I've had it where it would repeat right on the money. So cool. it's uh, a little something we'll do here. We'll have right. to do a little movement around to get the probe in position, and then we'll uh, we'll do the probing cycle. Okay, this is what we need to do. <clears throat> we have to put the the uh, spindle in the hand jog position, and we have the probe positioned over top of the bore. And what we want to do is hit the Z axis and gently come down in, into the bore. You have to make sure it'll fit. It's in the center of the bore. It just has to be down inside the bore. And it needs to be is, uh, approximately centered. What we're going to do is find the exact center of that bore on, on the X and Y axis. Okay, now that we have the probe positioned, we have to go back over here into visual quick code. We'll go into our, our probe operations. And the first one on the left, it says probe bore. That's what we want to do. Okay, and we wanted to, we're going to use work offset number 56. Okay, and it says, uh, what is the diameter? of the bore approximately. I'm going to say that's uh, about 0.875. And then we're going to write the program to MDI. Now we have the, the program ready to run here. If you look back at the probe, we're going to hit cycle start and it's actually going to probe that bore for us. done. That's actually ran that program. Now if we go back into our offset screen, if we look at G56, it's, uh, it's changed the, the X and Y coordinates to, to give you what the, uh, the center of that uh, the bore is. That's just another feature that you can use with the Renishaw probe. You can, uh, if you look here, if you want to find the, the inside diameter or the center line of, of this axis on the Y axis, it'll find that. If you want to find the, the center of the X axis, it'll find that. If you want to do outside, it'll do the outside, center to center, the end, center to center. Any of these corners, it'll find the inside corner, it'll find the outside corner. Any of your basic machining operations you would want to do are covered with the Renishaw probing system. And out of all of the options that I ordered on my Haas TM1P, I found this to be the most useful. It is a very nice tool and something uh, that I would recommend everybody get if they can uh, afford it. Thank you. And this is HelicopterJohn.com.